Hey, Susan Lazar Hart here, your congruency coach, creator of the Congruent Method, the Congruent Living Academy, and here today with your transformational, motivational, congruent living mindset moment. How does it get any better than that? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I love this uh, way to start our week together with actually asking what is tapping in for you and what would you like to have tuned up? And the moment that I came across some of the comments that were coming back to me last week, I was like, oh, okay, doubt is in the air. Doubt is in the air. So thank you all for having taken that poll and giving me the information about where you are in doubt with your world. The first thing I want to tell you is, have you ever thought about success this way? That it's actually a state of mind. It's not a condition. It's not a reality. Success is a state of mind. What you might believe is successful for you, for someone else, might be totally different for me, for someone else. It's actually a, it's, it's a state of mind. It's not a condition. So here's the deal. There's you and there's the inner being or infinite being, spark, whatever you want to call that. Right? There's you and there's the infinite being. So the infinite being, when the infinite being gets a sense of like, yes, you know, we always say everything is here for you. You get an idea. It's because everything's created twice. Once on the inside, once on the outside. And that's that alignment. So the inner being is like, yes, I'll have this. And then the doubt sets in. The doubt is you, not the inner being. The inner being's already taken off. It's like, yeah, let's do this. So when you buy into doubt, it's, it's actually that sensation that you have, and a lot of you have written me about this, that you're in a tug of war with yourself. That's the truth. Doubt is a sensation of you pulling yourself apart a little bit at a time. You've had this idea, it was really great, it's like, yes, everything's aligned, and then, oh, maybe it'll cost too much. Maybe they won't like me. Maybe this is just like everything else. Maybe, maybe, baby. <laughs> so if, if you're not... If you're not cooperating and co-creating with your inner being who's taking off, it is going to feel like a tug of war going on inside of you. Doubt is really that feeling of dissatisfaction. Now, as we were created to be problem solvers, everywhere you're looking for a problem with what you're creating, you're going to find it. You know, most of us were raised at a very young age to look for the problems. Not for the joy, not for the, yes, I'll have this and more, but like, oh, this could go wrong. Or what's going on here? Have you, have you pre-thought out what the problems might be? Rather than, ah, oh, how does that feel inside to be creating how you're creating, to be thinking about those creations? You get the difference in the energy? Remember, it's all here for you. Doubt is that feeling of satisfaction that your inner being just does, doesn't connect with because your inner being is never dissatisfied. That's you, the outer being, with the thoughts, the beliefs, the systems, the strategies that you were taught at a very young age that you brought with you as you grow. Remember, believing and, and acting on your desires, that's what manifestation is. It, manifestation is not something out there. It comes from in here. And when you desire something and believe in it, that's that sweet spot. Right? That's that sweet, sweet spot. When you desire something and then doubt it, you're in the doubting spot. <laughs> or let's call it that place of dissatisfaction. When you're in dissatisfaction, you're looking at problems, you're, you're starting to fill in that space of joy with, oh, this might not work out for me. Hey, Rosanna. So it's really about aligning you with your inner self. Again, remember your inner self has no judgment. There's no uh, dissatisfaction. It's like, yes, we'll have this. And what else is possible? So when you desire something that you believe in, there's no, there's no space between what you believe and your vibrational attachment to it. You, have you ever noticed that when you have a strong belief about something? There's no space there. But when you want something and you doubt it, that's where you start to create, you stack the problems. You stack what's not possible. You buy into this reality as true and real. When actually you create out of that infinite being, that infinite desire to, to feel, to be happy, to, to feel joyous. 
because really tap into success is really about you feeling joyous, feeling accomplished, feeling happy. It has nothing to do with what anybody else tells you what success is. It's, it's, you, it's you aligning, being congruent with your inner being, with who you came here to be. Right? Now, many people say to me, Susan, how long will it take me to start creating what I'm asking for? I'm asking and it's just not happening. And I say, as long as, you, as long as it takes you to stop doubting what you're believing. Remember, everything is created twice, once in here and once out here. It's here for you. As long as it takes you to stop doubting what you're believing, that's how long it will take for you to create with the success that you're asking for. We've been conditioned to focus on what is. And what I'm asking you to do is to focus on the vibration of what is possible. I'm going to repeat that one again. You might want to write that down. We've been conditioned to focus on what we believe is, what this reality is telling us is possible, is not possible. Rather, I'm asking you, are you willing to focus on the vibrations of what create greater? So if you give most of your attention to deciding what's occurring, to, to taking it apart with words, you're putting all your energy into reacting to what's around you rather than being creative with the vibrations of what you're asking to attract. So what creates that inconsistency in your vibration? When you go into doubt. Right? When you go into doubt, again, you, you're in that dissatisfied zone and there's no place for success. Success, again, is a sensation. It's a feeling of joy. So when you start practicing positive vibrations, that's where choice creates, right? Practice offering positive vibrations, even when you don't think the conditions have changed. This is your reality. This is your way of being in the world. Now you have choice. So you have this information. Now you have choice. Would you be willing to stop reacting to what is and tap into the emotions that you'd like to be? That's when I say it's a choice. You can either stack the problems. You can either stack the dissatisfactions or you can say, okay, so truly um, I'm living a life that I love. Everything is here for me. I'm, what, what's the vibration that you would like to create with? And what does it take? It takes practice. It takes unconditional clarity, right? Now, when I say unconditional clarity, that's playing with the alignment. We often say, I want to be clear on these conditions. But it's about practicing the art of allowance. Being in that sweet spot, allowing the magic of the universe to be with you. And in this one true precious life you have, what feels more joyous? Because it's all about joy. Living a congruent life is about living in joy of who you truly be and what you came here to be and do. So it's about acknowledging what is it that you're asking for and then asking to tap in and tune into those emotions of what that will create for you and with you. And when you're playing with those emotions, you're aligning with your future, the future you, you've been asking to play with. So just practice. How do I do this? Practice, practice aligning yourself with well-being. Just get up in the morning and say, ah, today's a beautiful day. Practice, 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 reaching for the good, reaching for what creates greater. Again, we've been taught we're great problem solvers. It doesn't mean you have to own it, right? Reach for what you're asking to create for. This is what you're looking for. It's the law of attraction, the law of allowance, and the momentum of the words that you're using create the vibration of that joy, of what that success is for you. So when you're willing to play with the law of attraction, with aligning with the vibration of what you're asking for, there's, there's no place for doubt. Right? Doubt, doubt is, there's no place for dissatisfaction. It's like, oh, okay, perhaps it didn't work out the way you thought. 
What have you learned from that? What would you be willing to appreciate where whatever that is brought you to the awareness of, I wonder what else is possible. I wonder what else is possible. So what happens when you start to tune in and tap into the frequency of what else is possible? What's possible here for me that I haven't been willing to be or see or appreciate or appreciate. Remember, your sense, sensation of success will be different from anybody else's. So what begins to happen when you practice, you start to feel accomplished in that frequency. It feels good. You, it creates an atmosphere that prepares the vibrational climate around you. You are always in that mode. And then you become the perceiver of what will set whatever you're asking for in motion. Can you imagine if you go from appreciating to feeling utter abundance? Can you imagine the ideas and success that would begin to flow from your mind and the, and the rendezvous that would take place with that creative partner, your inner being? It's about practicing. It's about finding something that feels good, whatever that is, and be with it, rest with it, be with it until it grows into something more. Do that every day. And finally, you're walking around with, some, with this special vibration within you that just automatically starts to attract what you're asking to create. Napoleon Hill from Think and Grow Rich said there's a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. When you start to play with the alignment of what would bring you joy, no matter how small it might seem to you, again, it doesn't have to be huge. It can be, but what will bring you joy today? This scarf is bringing me joy today. I asked body, what would you like to wear? My body said, can we wear that sweater? And how about that scarf? Went, yeah, it feels really great. Those little things, stack the good, right? Don't stack the problem, stack the good. Be that cooperative component of your creations. Get in the receiving mode. That's what's behind the sensation of success, the desire to feel better, right? So let's start practicing feel better thoughts. How do you do that? Again, I've been saying that all the way through. Practice good habits. Start creating, let go of the bad habits of complain, blame, dissatisfaction, looking for the problems, and start to stack the good habits. How do you change that? You change it. <laughs> Hi, Goldshin, thank you so much. You exchange the whatever isn't working for what could work. You don't know until you try. So here's three easy ones. Practice self-compassion, being compassionate with yourself. When we're, when we're in self-doubt, it means that we're holding ourselves back, right? It arises from perhaps the fear of making a mistake, mistakes about how we grew, how we should improve. No, 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 no. Look at yourself in the mirror and just say to yourself, I am so grateful for you showing up in my life. I am so grateful for what I am creating today, now. It's that, it's that way of, of being positive with yourself, of affirming, wow, good for me. I'm the kind of person that, that tried this, good for me. You know, what else is possible here? This is, this is you aligning with your inner being who is here to celebrate you in every step of the way. Second, just reflect on your past achievements. Self-reflection is a fantastic tool. It reminds us we're capable of what we're asking to achieve. Unfortunately, living in the present can take away that present moment if we are basing our present on every past thing that we thought we could do, would do, couldn't do, right? It's about learning, not dwelling. It's about appreciation, not dwelling. It's about having gratitude for yourself, giving yourself that space and time in which you actually came up with the awarenesses that you did, not dwelling on what you didn't do or what happened, right? Third, do not compare yourself to others. Again, as we began at the beginning, success is, is, is personal. It's, a, it's sen a sensation 
of feeling good and feeling better and better every day in every way. When we compare ourselves to others, when we try to measure ourselves up to what somebody else is doing or being, it, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Again, this reality will have you spending all your time on that, but that's this reality, that's not our reality. Our reality is everyone's life is different. We are flowers in the garden. We're each going to bloom in our own time. We do require different nurturing. And I'm asking you to start nurturing your creations in a way that has you feeling better and better every day. Focus on you. Focus on you. Focus on you. And I guess the fourth one is spend time with people who support you. I said three, I'm giving you four. Spend time with people who support you. Spend time with people who support you, who are who are who have your back, who are there to help you rise up, not bring you down. And you know it, it's a gut feeling. You know it. That's what I love about the Congruent Living Academy. It's, it's a community of supportive people with mentoring and accountability that helps you live your best life in creating the transformations that you've been asking for and you just didn't know how to find or get to or be with, it's a community, uh, the Congruent Living Academy. I've just been interviewing our members and asking them, so what, what is your biggest takeaway? And everybody's been saying, I just love this community of support that help, lifts me up and uh, knowing that I'm not alone. And that's so, so, so important. And I'm so grateful for the feedback. If you're interested in joining the Congruent Living Academy, we are open until the end of today for this year. So come on, reach in to me and uh, I'll put the link up here. Reach out to me rather. And uh, let's have a chat. Let's see what it is that you're asking to shift and change that you would love to feel in leading and living a successful life that you've never felt before or thought wasn't possible. It is. It truly is. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm just going to stop right now and ask any questions, any ahas, anything anybody wants to share before we say goodbye. Uh, this is thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you all. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, you know, <laughs> I'm thinking of the word doubt as, as just the biggest downer there is. It's a double D, it's a downer for, for if you're asking to create a successful life. And that's what we're here for, right? We're here to spread the joy. We're here to create a life we love. And it's just a bountiful planet. It's, we're, we're in this amazing, amazing space and place and time right now. And so I'm asking you to dig deep and ask yourself, where is it that you've been doubting what you're asking to create it, is that really what, is that what's stopping that success that you know, that you, you're reaching for, that you can taste, but just not there yet? Again, if you have a question on that, reach out to me. I'll put the link up here. I don't see any questions today or comments. Thank you so much for popping in. As always, come on in later with your comments. I check in every day, hashtag replay. Uh, if you're watching this later, live boldly, love greatly. And be that fearless leader you came here to be. A fearless leader is one that's actually willing to acknowledge what's working, appreciate that life has brought them right here, right now, and know that there's something greater. They're looking and asking for that sensation of feeling better and better every day and living with the joy of who they truly be. And I know that that's a possibility for sure. We're all here because of that awareness. Thank you so much. Uh, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.